this year the subject of interest from a number of clubs in Europe as we've been hearing throughout this tournament particularly we understand from Fiorentina just So break for Polito. And Polito taking the long route round and not getting sufficient power to truly trouble Andre Blake. Oh, but it's Adrian Heath at half time. Head of their quarter final against San Jose Earthquakes. I'm going to go get a hot dog and a bag of chips during that interview. You cool no. with that? No, no, no. Adrian's very, very keen to talk to you. You might have some explaining to do. <laughs> Me. Oh, good ball there. Don't change the subject. Gaddis. Santos. Squeezed through for Bedoya. And turned in by Montero. An anxious glance towards the referee's assistant. No flag evident. And Philadelphia strike first in this opening quarterfinal. And for the first time tonight, we've seen Philadelphia get that penetrating ball and run through the midfield. You look at Bedoya starts this play playing into Aronson. Keep an eye on Bedoya. He continues to make the run. Santos with that little clip in. But Alejandro Bedoya started this play from 45, 50 yards away. It's not always the first or second, even third runner. It's the fourth runner coming out of the midfield. Just a great team goal from the Philadelphia Union with an early lead in this one. And that is what they are about, team moments. No particular superstars, just lots of very positive, regular, reliable contributors, such as Hamira Montero. Just his fifth goal for the club, for the... Martins, and now the break's on for Philadelphia, led by Santos. And Sporting Kansas City completely caught out, and Santos quite delicately and beautifully makes it two. It's a giveaway goal, though, by Sporting Kansas City. From one end of the pitch to the other in double quick time, and Sporting KC had simply left the back door wide open. Attacking set piece, an attacking set piece, and look at your numbers. This is just simple defending, first to second balls, a weird touch from Martins, and then all of a sudden Santos completely runs by everyone else. That, I mean, it, that's inexplicable from this point of view at this level for Peter Vermees coach team. That's an attacking set piece, and you just let the Philadelphia Union run 80 plus yards and then end it off with an unbelievable finish from Sergio Santos. And so the goalkeeper, Tim Melia, having not been beaten in seven hours and ten minutes, 430 minutes of play, has now conceded. I mean, th this is the look I'm talking about. Look at Santos' top of your screen. I know you're using the drum, but watch this. A sloppy touch. It's in your own half. This is inexplicable. When there's three attacking players, at the minimum, any coach will tell you, you have to have at least three, if not four, players defending that. Sporting Kansas City gambles. So it's going to be interesting to see, did they switch that? Did they have that conversation? Because this is a similar situation. Here you go. You've got an attacking set piece, a corner, and then the blink of an eye, Philadelphia went the other way. Keep an eye here on Graham Smith. That's Ily Sanchez and via a deflection into the grip. Jose Martinez. Alejandro Bedoya. Aronson, neatly done. Lovely ball as well. Santos, three. Two for him, but what a pass from Brendan Aronson to tee him up. A glimpse of what the future might hold for this teenager from New Jersey. And at this stage, Philadelphia are running away with it. And an absolute tease for all the European scouts that are watching this game at home. Watch the movement from Aronson to let the ball run across his body. The defender overcommits. And then to have the ability to not see Montero, but right here to see that run from Santos. Great ball, good finish. 
but an absolute dime from Brendan Aronson, the 19-year-old kid, homegrown player from Philadelphia. What a goal. Two for Santos, the second scene from the post cam, and three for Philadelphia as Johnny Russell takes aim. And it yields a corner. We said before that Sporting Kansas City needs something soon. Well, they need quite a lot very quickly now. Otherwise, this game will truly be beyond them. Ball. But watch this from Brendan Aronson. He feels the pressure from shallow. He understands where Graham Zusi is. You know, for young players at home watching, that, it, it's fundamentals. Where you receive the ball, how do you receive the ball, understanding, having eyes behind you, understanding where the pressure is going to be. He's with three goals, one assist in this tournament, but that was such a good play from the 19-year-old kid. A product of Real JFC in Medford, New Jersey, his hometown, where he was coached by his dad, Rusty. Russell and Polito and that is one back before the break a proper poachers goal and a first in open play at this tournament for the nine million dollar man Alan Polito but similar to the Philadelphia Union goal where Alejandro Bedoya makes a run from 45 50 yards I want you to watch Polito here so Polito starts this play but look at Elliot look at McKenzie they're all ball watching so Elliot and Gaddis are worried about Shalloway and Busio, but Bedoya doesn't help in and serve as that back post defender in Polito with a quick return on a sizable investment. And it also puts Sporting Kansas City back in play in this game. We've reached the halfway point. It is 3-1 and Sporting Kansas City. Philadelphia in the white, leading by three. Free kick is a really good one against the angle. Alan Polito lined it up. What a hit. I mean, it's the perfect distance because now you can hit it with pace and get that ball moving away from the goalkeeper for games. It was odd to see three goals in the 63rd minute in this tournament. Kinder. Russell. Still going, Johnny Russell. And Polito and Russell and Sporting Kansas City. He was off now. Uh, disappointed to see Rami Touchan's right hand up, mirroring the right arm. Of what a save this is on the first opportunity from Polito. So the ball's in play here, so he's not out of bounds. He cuts it to this point. This is an unbelievable save here. I'm not sure if it's Blake. It is Blake. Susie. some ball and it opens up Philadelphia to a degree this is Gerso and Blake just guarding the angles at his near Johnny Russell Blake decided early to come Offs. we've seen it a couple times in this tournament he's easily been the best goalkeeper in this tournament hands down single-handedly has gotten Philadelphia in this spot to be in a quarterfinal, but that little part of his game has to improve. Six saves tonight for Andre Blake, 27 is his running tally for this tournament. Yellow carded very early. Yeah, he has shown some signs of composure and, and poise in this moment because when Martinez got the yellow in the first half, you and I are immediately thinking that this could be dicey for the Philadelphia Union. But it was their night. It's delight for the Philadelphia Union, who are through to the semi-finals. They'll play either New York City FC or the Portland Timbers. A brace of goals from Sergio Santos. Fist bumps all round from Jim Curtin. And confirmation of 
that half of the bracket. Philadelphia through again.